So we all know about the fastest method in earning money within Hogwarts Legacy is to capture and sell those beasts to the vendor, uh, the brood and peck vendor within Hogsmeade. Well today guys, I bring you the quickest method in doing this. There's no other quicker way, you mark my words, you will earn thousands in minutes. I mean, I've completely filled my inventory here in literally five minutes and I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to get, but I've got max inventory slots in regards to holding my beast. So there's probably like 40 slots here. So that's 40 times 120. You guys do the maths. Five minutes, guys. There's no quicker method. Stay tuned. So any money within Hogwarts Legacy is an absolute must. And while today, guys, I'm going to bring you the, by far the quickest method in doing this. Yes, there are many guides out there in farming beasts and going to sell them. But hey, this route, this method is by far the quickest. So take advantage of this while you can. Now, first things first, you will need the knapsack. Now, if you haven't got the knapsack, this allows you to capture beasts. You first need to do Professor Weasley's Remove Requirements quest. You will then get a quest from Deke called the Elf, the Nabsack and the Loom. He teaches you here how to go out into the open world and capture these beasts. Once you've done that quest, the Room of Requirement and the Verum are yours and you can go out, capture these beasts and sell them for a profit. Now the difference between this method and many of the other methods you've seen is we're actually going to farm two different dens of the same species and we're going to fly between each one of them with no time at all, making it more efficient than any other method. Now, another tip in making this super, super simple is changing that story difficulty to story. Because what this does is, guys, it takes away any of the effort in capturing beasts. You simply just point the knapsack at them and then press capture. You don't have to do anything else. It's like a guaranteed capture every single time. So yes, keep that in mind. Okay, so the first den of the two we're going to actually farm is located right here. Now I'm going to mark it on my map for you guys to see. I know my way here off by art. So once we've come to this one, guys, we're just going to simply fast travel down to here and fly to this one. I'll showcase it to you right here, just how efficient this can be. Okay, so we're just going to get on my broom. I'm just going to go this way. So yes, this is so, so efficient. It's so, so easy. I know a lot of people who use my first farm where you skip time and keep farming the same one. You have to skip time twice. I mean, you don't have to do that with this one. Uh, you just skip time once, but it's perfect, guys. So here, you'll come here, knapsack at the ready, and you'll see what I mean. Aim, and just press it. You don't have to do anything else. It's a guaranteed capture. Absolute guaranteed. Now, the actual other uh, puff skin den is way easier than this one. I mean, they, can, they can't escape. These guys can sometimes be a little tricky. And they fly, well, run away, roll away, like the little critters they are. I would say as well, it's best to do this at night because when you use your Revelio, you can see them much better because they're highlighted in blue. In daytime, you can barely see them. I speed up the video while I grab the rest of them just to make things a lot easier on yourselves and uh, not to waste time, people. So now I have them all in this area. We're simply just going to travel down to this one. Just like so. So you want to come to this flue flame right here and we're going to fly up to there so we're just going to quickly fly down here travel down here and you'll see guys just how efficient this is it's unbelievably quick at filling your inventory with puff skin there's no other quicker way in my opinion than this i mean i've been doing a lot i've been trying to earn all that money trying to buy everything in the game so yeah so we're just going to fly over to that den just like so again putting it on story mode takes the challenge there's no challenge whatsoever literally and the best thing about these two dens are is they're both completely filled with with tames and they're so easy to grab i mean this one here is just this is probably the best oh, i got the wrong spells on this is probably the best den in the game for uh tames to catch and sell because they're always in this cave i know it's most of the time like this just run to this back corner sometimes they can get out and escape but hey so what I'll do here, guys, is again, I'll just speed this up until I've caught them because I don't want to waste your guys' time. Okay, so once you're happy and you've caught them all, simply go into your map and skip time once. That's it. Just skip time once. Simple as that. From here, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way back to that first den. And yes, lo and behold, all of those puff skins will have respawned. So we're going to go back up to this one right here and travel back to that den there. Simple as as this and you'll see that all of these tames all of these little fluffy bees have all respawned I mean you can simply fly back and forth between these skipping uh time once per instance of farming both these uh these dens 
and all anim animals will have respawned. It really is that crazy. And it's by far, by far, the quickest method in earning money in this game. By far, people. Okay, so you can come back here now and you'll see that they've all respawned. Simple as that. And there you go, guys. Once you've captured all these, as you'll see me do on screen now, to speed this up again. Again, we're done here. Now, guys, simply travel back down. You don't have to skip time again here. Like I said, you skip time once, and it's probably best you skip time after you've caught them all from this den here. So once you've caught them all in the den there, then you skip time. It really is that simple, guys. It's wild, it's fast, it's just so ridiculous in earning that super, super quick money. There's no other quick way of earning that galleon, that gold, that dollar, dollar. If you want to become rich, this is by far the best method. And I know I've seen videos of people using their vivarium to breed beasts. Uh, you can have like four in each room, which is 16 in total. Uh, but it's half an hour per animal. So you're only going to be able to sell really 16 every half an hour. I mean, doing this, guys, you're getting 16 in a couple minutes. And as you can see, guys, they're all back. They're all back. Oh, changed my spell. Almost shot them. So, yeah, it's absolutely ridiculously quick. It's so easy. Again, I'll speed this up. And I'll show you one more instance of me just doing it. So it's just so you guys can see just how wild this is. It's so crazy. I believe that is it now, is it? Yes, it is. I don't believe there's any more there. And then guys, what you do here is, again, you just skip time once. Just skip time once, and then you just want to make your way back to that first den. That's it. That is it. That is the farm. Until your inventory is full, you are good here. So back up to the Forbidden Forest Flu Flame. Travel here, and you'll see that all of these animals will have reset yet again. All of these beasts will be back, ready for you to capture and steal and sell on for that nice and lovely profit there we go just gonna fly over here and you will see you will see i actually was doing this last night and i thought i'm so tired of something right here so i've tested it again today and yep it's exactly the same thing it works perfectly now all back all back i'm just gonna capture all these guys i'll speed up the video so you don't have to wait just because i want that money too when we go and sell them to the vendor easy people that was so easy unbelievable okay so now and i've got an inventory it's probably got quite a few in it already it's all good i don't really want to keep you guys waiting too long i got plenty there so now guys you want to go to hogsmeade and you want to go to this vendor right here if you're unsure about this so this vendor this flu flame come here guys make that dollar dollar make that money money and do what you got to do with it. Using this method, I've more or less brought every uh, recipe, every blueprint, uh, every seed, more or less everything, guys. More or less everything. So, yeah, just come in here, guys, and then you just sell these. Sell and sell away. And like, I got basically 7,000, probably 5, 10 minutes in doing this the first time because it's just a super quick method. So yeah guys, do what you gotta do to earn that money. A quick rundown again, just so people are sure exactly how this works. So you start off, let's say, right here. Let's pull up my map, get this down. So you start off right here, this flu flame, the forbidden forest. You then come to this den right here, farm or the puff skin. You then fast travel down to here. So these will have to be unlocked before you can do this. Fast travel to there, then make your way up to this den. Then farm order little beasts here. Then guys, you skip time by coming to your map and pressing in your right thumb stick just once. Skip time once. That is all you got to do. But make sure you do it after you've caught all the beasts here. Then you can simply travel back up to that forbidden forest flu flame. This one right here. Then make your way to this den right here and farm away again simple again then from here go back down you don't have to skip time just go back down to that flu flame and make your way back up to that den farm more the bees here again guys after you farm them skip time once then repeat, rinse and repeat back up to this one back to this den farm away simple and that is it when you are full when your inventory is full 
come to this vendor within Hogsmeade, sell that them beast for that profit and you are good to go guys. And there we have it. By far the best and quickest method in this game in earning that money. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.